For those of you who don't know me, my name is Ann Boyle. As part of today's morning manna, I shared a song that has really spoken to my heart. In February, my husband and I went on a cruise with the Pittsburgh Steelers. My husband Rick grew up in Pittsburgh. And for those of you who aren't familiar with folks from that town, they love their sports teams, especially the Steelers. Part of the cruise included chapel service every morning. One of the songs that was sung several times was Waymaker, which was unknown to me prior to this trip. I'm sure many of you may already be familiar with it. The person singing it on the cruise had a gorgeous voice. I actually recorded a snippet one morning so I would have it to play whenever I needed to feel God's presence. Little did I know how much I would need it in just a few weeks. At the time, I didn't realize how soon we would be entering this unprecedented time of fear and disease in our country, or how meaningful a song would become in soothing my fears and anxieties. Right now, that trip seems like a lifetime ago. I've had this song on repeat in my brain for a while now. My husband and I play it almost every day as part of our own devotions. I sing to myself the four things the song uses to describe God whenever I feel particularly fearful about our current situation. Faced with impossible circumstances and insurmountable odds, he's a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. I've thought more about those descriptors and about how God has not only described each one of them in the Bible, but also shown them to us in our everyday lives. However, it's good to remember that even when we don't see it, he's working. Even when we don't feel it, he's working. He never stops. He never stops working. Jesus is our way maker when there is no other way. In Matthew 19, verse 26, we learn that Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. I know many of us may be feeling lost and weary in this time of uncertainty, but it can help to remember his promise for us found in Isaiah 43, 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Jesus' many miracles are recounted in the New Testament. We know he can calm the storm with a simple command of his voice. He brought miracle healing everywhere he went. In every generation, people like us will face desperate times when it's easy to feel hopeless. The same God who saved, protected, healed, and rescued people in the Bible is the very one who desires to move in our lives too. He wants each of us to see him and trust in him as our way maker and miracle worker, to have hope in every situation, even a global pandemic. He has promised us in Joshua 1 verse 9 that the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And in Hebrews 4 verse 16, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. He is a light in the darkness. Jesus shines his light and shows us a way out of the darkness that is closing in. In Psalm 107 verses 13 and 14 we hear, Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. And John 1, 4 tells us, In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. Remembering that in Romans 8, 28, he also tells us, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for being our way maker. Thank you for watching over us. You know our every need even before we do. Let us trust in you to be our miracle worker, even when circumstances seem dire and the odds seem stacked against us. Help us, Lord, help us to lift our eyes up to you so that we can see above our present circumstances. And dear God, we would ask especially that you bless the healthcare workers, and all those on the front lines of this pandemic, for they are truly acting as your hands and feet, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
I hope the lyrics from this song settle into your heart today and lift your eyes to the one who is able to make a way, no matter how hopeless it appears. God bless you.